up and down like a cheerleader. I can't help myself. I, I let my inner kid come out. You know, <laughs> we like to keep them locked up most of the time. It's very exciting. It's a huge media event here. It's a great pleasure now to introduce one of the stars of Night of the Musical and the sequel, Lucas Gray Beal is here with us. The place uh, Nice to see you. Good night. Oh, my God. Okay, I want to ask you right off the bat. Yeah. What's it like being a teen heartthrob? Oh, I don't think I'm a teen heartthrob. Oh, come on. The girls are going crazy for you. Uh, yeah, only in Disneyland. I mean, if I was in, you know, I don't know, Six Flags, I don't think I would have this kind of, uh, you know, response. But it is great to be here and to have a, a family of strangers and, and a, a group of people who are so inspired and, and, and excited for a movie. It's, it's really great. It is quite extraordinary. I mean, the first film just took off, and no one expected it to be that big a hit. No way. I mean, you know, we, we, we made a movie for Disney Channel, a made-for-cable TV music, movie musical for kids. I mean, the, the, the list of that is astronomical. You know, we didn't think that it was going to be actually turn into something that's such a phenomenon. So it's, it's just it's been a blessing, really. And what's an exciting thing that happens to your character in uh, in High School Musical 2? Well, it's really exciting. Ryan actually gets to kind of break out of the show a little bit, get away from Sharpay, step out from uh, her oh, shadow. Oh, Sharpay, don't even get me started on Actually, she's so. She's no, great. She's great. She is great. She's so great that you hate her. I mean, <laughs> uh, and it makes it easy for me to, to work off of because uh, I can, you know, be the opposite of that really easy on screen. Zach Efron is like, I mean, you're all huge stars, but this guy is... I mean, he's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine at the moment. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would say he would be the one you would call a teen idol or, or uh, icon. I mean, you, you, you wouldn't be able to hear yourself if he was standing right here right now. So that's got to yeah, be The only reason they're quiet is we've asked them to be quiet. This is Lucas, everybody. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. One thing I want to know, Richard and I were talking about this earlier. So many young stars run off the rails. So, I mean, you know, you don't need me to mention the names Lindsay Lohan, et cetera, et cetera. Lady yeah. And all the others that, that we deal with so much. But what's the secret to keeping those things on the ground? Uh, you know, I, for me, I don't understand how people do that because of those crazy people being around. That That's a, an obvious, um, you know, reminder for me every day not to be that, you know. And, and for me, it's, it's just being myself and the guy I've always been. And uh, that's a simple kind of guy. I don't, I don't need a limo kind of life, you know? Uh, I'm a simple kind of guy playing T-shirt. I'm good. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I, what sort of question is that? I don't know. One, one, one's an answer. I, I, I have a girlfriend, yes, but, uh, you know, that part of my life is my life. Looks very good. I am free. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Lucas, we wish you all the best for this. What are the expectations this time around? I mean, you've, you've, you've done so much, so much already. Oh, I know. I mean... If, if high school musical has taught us anything, it's that not to not expect anything. You know, you're never going to know what's going to happen. And so I'm just here along for the ride. All right. Well, say hi to your fans in Australia. What's up, guys in Australia? I'm so sorry that I.